When I first came here in 1967, I did 42 minutes or something on an open road with a career of six. I remember that lap. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. It was about six o'clock in the morning and I just didn't see anything. And so I got braver and braver and braver and I was taking the proper line eventually, you know. And I only went about three minutes quicker in the race with a 910. Come on, I'll give you a ride on the circuit. The trick at the Targa Florio, aside from staying on the road, is to go as fast as possible for as long as possible. Fast through that one. Fast through this one. And break all over the road for the hairpin, because you have to slow down for the hairpin anyway. Accelerate smoothly. Then tuck in round this corner, mine the little stones that cut the tires. Fast through that one. Then apex for this one just around the corner because you want to be on the right coming down the hill. It's fast onto the bridge because the surface is quite good. Then accelerate again for this short straight. Flat out through the right and left flick. Watch it here because the road surface changes. And again as fast as possible on the approach to the hairpin. Careful through here. On race day these walls will be just solid with people. They'll be standing on them, sitting on them, and all you can see is legs and feet. Like driving through a tunnel, almost. This is the section where I usually have my practice accidents. Two years ago in a Porsche I hit an Alfa Romeo service car. And then last year, <laughs> last year I hit a local. The Targa Florio really is a relic from the past. But unfortunately I think its days are numbered.